Chris, I got my favorite collection of paper and ink, but the ink is dry, so you think, well, you probably can't do a whole lot with it. But actually, I'm gonna make the ink kind of come to life, use something kind of fresh with the dried ink on the cards today, right here on YouTube. Give the cards a little bit of a shuffle. Boom, uh, Chris, go ahead, my friend. I'm gonna just stretch them up, grab one, show it to the camera, don't care. Show it to the camera, you done that? Okay, a little Hindu action here, little Hindu, little Hindu. Let's put it back. Boom, okay, great. So we, you chose a card, right? Yes. I now want you to touch a card. I'm gonna have you touch a card that I don't, I want to be the same color as the card that you're thinking of. Okay, the same color. I'm gonna spread out the cards here. Touch one, I don't uh, care. That one right there. Okay, great. Three of spades. The ink is dry right now, but we're gonna try to freshen up the ink. Bring the camera down, I want you to see this. Watch. Take the three, okay? Give a little shake here. And watch to see if I can get that ink to actually move around and that black ink match now perfectly the one card you had in mind. Boom! This is the bottom change, bottom top change. Little known, even more misunderstood. That's very strange the way that happened there. <laughs> it's often misunderstood. For you carditions, serious sleight of hand people, you're gonna love what you can do with this change. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna show you a four card change for this. I'm gonna show you how I did this, show you the control. Uh, we're also gonna do a question of the week because this week I'm gonna be giving away 12 of my brand new trick called X Factor. X Factor is this really strange, surreal kind of prediction effect involving, uh, you predict uh, the spectator basically has a free choice of any city in the world, any city, and you predict it. I'm gonna give away 12 of those with the question of the week coming up right now. In fact, I'm not gonna even make you wait. Before we get to all the magic, here is this week's question of the week. Leave a comment down below for your chance to win one of 12 of my X Factor tricks. Since it involves predicting one city in the entire world, tell me, if you could snap your fingers right now and appear in any city, in the entire world, which city would you choose? Okay, snap your fingers, appear in any city, leave a comment down below for your chance to win one of 12 X Factor. Oh, and I almost forgot, as I so often do, really have to talk to my dealer about that. Folks, uh, is I'm gonna give away also, I'm gonna announce on this video, the winners of last week's Houdini's Ghost winners, okay? So stay tuned, I'm gonna announce the names of all 12 of you who won Houdini's Ghost. You want it to look like, let's say the five of hearts here, you want it to look like that you're just pulling more cards on top of it, right? Uh, if you do it with your eyes open, sorry. And, but of course, you've control it to the top. Now, the way that's done is this. They put their card back. Okay, I'll say it's, they put it there. And with my middle, uh, tip of my middle finger and my thumb, uh, let's get a few more cards on top there. There we go. Um, I'm going to come over and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab the uh, three or four cards, that packet. You don't want to grab the full packet. If you grab the full packet, they might see that it's sort of vanished almost. So you want to have enough cards, maybe even half the deck, so that by the time you've got about half the deck in your other hand, you say put the card back. Now they can put their card back on top of the cards in your left hand. I can come over and between these two fingers, I could just grab a clump of cards, three cards, six cards, whatever, from the lower half and under cover of the top half, pulling more cards on top. And then finally, I get right, and I'm keeping a break with my finger and my thumb at the back here, and then pull off that last and up. All right, that puts it on top. So you want it to look like this. I'm gonna go through, boom, boom, boom. Go ahead, why don't you put it back there? Let's say they put the five of clubs back. I put some more cards on top, okay? And then I've been able to get their card at the top. So that's, that's the Hindu shuffle, that's what I use. Now next, I want this card, not only on top, I need it reversed. I need to secretly turn it over. Let me show you a couple of quick ways to do this. One easy way to do it is, and I did this with Chris and I cheated a little bit with the camera, but if you just get someone's attention up to your face, okay? And one of the ways you could literally do this very boldly is by cutting off half these cards, okay? Fanning these out and lifting them up and say, now your card might be among these. And as I lift up, my left hand does this crazy bold move. Watch what my left hand's gonna do. That's it. Right against the hip. I come over, okay, I'm coming over. I push it off slightly, just slightly push it off like this, okay? And then against the hip, I roll it and bring it back, okay? 
So, but uh, in live performance, I mean, uh, there's people around, everyone's drinking, having a good time. All I do is I'm here, I don't necessarily grab the half deck or anything. I say, okay, so you're thinking of a card, you got one in mind. And just like that, their faces are up, I'm gesturing with my right hand and nobody sees me roll this. So that's what I use with Chris during this performance. Okay, reverse the card. Another technique I've used before is Ken Krenzel's automatic reverse. This is, again, locked off on a camera here, it might flash a bit, but in live performance, okay, people never notice that. And it's a really interesting variation, in a sense, on a, um, a bottom reverse, because what I'm doing is this, or half pass, really, is I'm gonna lift the top card slightly at the back and get my pinky, just my pinky to under there. Then when I turn everything over, and it'll feel weird the first 2,000 times to do this, my pinky's still there. I just give a little breathing room and close the fingers and turn it over, okay? So this is Ken Krenzel's automatic reverse. Here's another exposed view. Turn, turn, okay? So one last time in performance though, is the top cards here, I get my break under the top card, turn the cards over, and maybe start to spread to cover the last action. So that's the automatic reverse. So the card's reversed on the bottom, boom. Now, I spread out the cards and say, go ahead, touch a card of the same color as the card you have in mind. And even though they chose the card and they showed it, I always say, of the card you had in mind, as if they're just thinking of card, thinking of the card. Often later on, people will swear, I could have thought of any card, I was just thinking of the card. Great magic shows are about leaving seeds during your performance. Little seeds that later on, ideally, may bloom into more exotic fruit. Good night. Uh, so you got the, it's a black card. They touch a black card here. Okay, now, I take the card. Now, to get ready for the bottom top switch, you have to buckle the bottom card. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if they're burning your deck, you're gonna get caught. So I always use this card. I bring it up. I put it in someone's face, I flick, I move it around, I say it's on fire, whatever I need to get them off the deck for a second while I show them this card, okay? So this wasn't your card, but it's the same color, whatever I'm doing, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm primarily holding the deck between the tip of the first finger, okay, and the base of the thumb. These three fingers are free so that I can pull. Now, you're gonna be tempted to push. It's not a push, my friends, okay? It's actually a pull back and then a push. Slight, it's a pull and I'm getting ready because what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna show them their card. And just with my left thumb, I'm gonna flick it and I'm gonna have executed a visually indetectable change. There's a bunch of little details going on here and here they are. So we've got a reversed card in the bottom. We've got this card here. I'm gonna get this ready and the, the ready here is to buckle slightly and then push forward. It's a very subtle thing, but once I get, and I find that when it's buck, when the whole deck has a nice bend in it this way, it's a lot easier for me to get my grip. Because what I want is I want this card, the corner is now clear. So it's resting below the deck, held mostly by just the first finger, okay? And the base here, but it's now ready to be switched out. So it's slightly buckled. To, when I do this, it takes me about just a beat to get ready, okay? And then I can come in. So once the card is buckled and, and sort of ready and the corner is past the first finger, now I'm gonna do this action. And as I do this action, my right finger is gonna reach a little deeper, a little deeper underneath. So the fingertips are on the bottom card. Thumb is on top. The left thumb is gonna pull this in and I'm gonna cover the action like that. Let me show it to you again. So here, this is performance speed. Notice there's my buckled card, but the fingertip, the, the, uh, the first finger's covering it. I'm here. It's just a little sound, a little flick, all right? So you've got this beautiful, though, what's really nice about it, of course, this effect is they're thinking of the king of clubs. They touch any, uh, they, they touch a card of the same color, all right? They see me take this and I say, watch, just a flick, and, and, and rather than notice, if I just flick and immediately show, well, okay, did you do some tricky switch there? There's no time lapse, there's no beat. But if I plant a time lapse where I've got my card, the king of clubs, okay, and I give it a flick, put the deck down, 
Take a moment, say think of your card. Every beat I'm now doing is distancing the possibility that there was any switch earlier. It really is very pretty because it never leaves their sight. The back never leaves their sight, then you gotta change. Boo! Whoa! Whoa! That's my attempt at being haunted and spooky because I'm gonna announce right now the winners of last week's contest, which is 12 winners for Houdini's Ghost. Uh, it's a trick like a bunch of mine you can only find on my, my, my shop, my merch site, sankeymatic.com. It's an in the hands, your hand and their hand, transposition trick using actual retro photos of the man himself, Mr. Harry Houdini. Pretty cool trick. Here you are, hopefully you won. Houdini's Ghost winners right now. Curtis Bro, B-R-O-U-G-H. Rob Boyle, Ben Jones, Sky Carl, Lee Leverett, Joseph Littman, Steve Bella, Roger Cruston, Cruston, okay. Uh, tricks are for kids, ouch, okay. Tony Taylor, Sarah Burroughs, and finally, Mika Wrestling, Wrestling, Mika Wrestling. U12 won, as always, if I just mentioned your name, congratulations, that's pretty awesome. Contact my team by sending an email to contact at sankeymagic.com. Uh, your real name, your real shipping address, and we will ship out your prize. And do not forget, leave a comment down below for your chance to win one of 12 of my new X Factor mentalism tricks. And remember, the question of the week is, if you could snap your fingers mm, mm, in stereo, snap your fingers and appear in any city in the entire world, which city would you choose? Leave your comment down below to be automatically entered into the contest. Thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment. Take a moment and subscribe to my channel, please. There's magic, there's mentalism, there's just some upsetting personal stuff that really shouldn't be shared with anybody but Jay's therapist, it's all here. Okay, so please subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. I'm trying to get us up there now, where are we shooting for? 400,000, gonna do a huge crazy ass contest, week long celebration, get me there folks, 400,000 subscribers, it's gonna happen. Also, directly below this video, you will find a link to my Instagram account. Having so much fun on Instagram. Every day, one new person follows me. No, there's a whole bunch of people following. Uh, I'm sharing magic, I'm sharing cartoons, uh, some personal inspirational stuff. Get you through your day. It's all there on my Instagram account. So start following me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and have a beautiful day.